Okay, class, take out your homework. Jane, where's your homework? Hmm, why don't I have my homework? Oh yeah, I was too busy having a great time my dad's last night. Hey guys. Hey, hey dad. dad. So, I know it's our night tonight, but I'm having some friends over to watch the big game. You know you how. You could just watch the game with us. Please dad, I like watching the game. You know I need to watch the game with the guys. It'll be fine, I promise. That's what you said last time. Here we go again. It's my dad's night to have us, and he invites his friends over to get drunk and watch the big game. Way to go, Dad. Choosing alcohol over your own children. Dad the year, right here, people. Let's go do our homework. I can't concentrate on my homework. It's okay. Let's just take a break from homework. How about we play a game? Okay. Jane, I can't sleep. It's okay. Just try and block the noise out. <laughs> Hello? Mom? Yes, I know it's 12.30, but he is downstairs and he has his friends over. Yes, I need you to come get me. Why else would I call you? What? Why can't you come get us? Are you kidding me? Please come get us. We don't want to be here. Ugh, whatever. Thanks a lot. Well, my life just keeps getting better and better. My dear mother can't pick us up from this miserable place because she decided she needed to get high tonight. Looks like we're going to have to rough it out here. Another shining example of how great my life is. Look, Mom's not feeling well. Dad's friends are just acting silly. Just try and get some sleep. Care what your excuses. You have responsibilities, and one of those is getting your homework done. I have more responsibilities than you can imagine. Hey Jane, are you going to the spring fling this Friday? As you know, I'm on the committee for a spring fling, and we are looking to get 100% attendance. Please say you'll go. Hmm, spring fling. I've never been. It would be nice to get out of the house for once. Sure, why not? Great, I'll see you there. Hey, Jane. Hey, Ashley. You made it. I'm so glad. You look great. Thanks. I have to go check on the snacks. I'll see you later. Great. <laughs> What's up, Jane? Small world. I totally did not think I'd see one of these things. <laughs> Need some relax? Ah, I've got the latest vapes that run a marijuana oil. We can get high right here, and the teachers won't even know about it. So, what do you want? You name them, I've got them. We have bubble gum, Fruit Loops, and cotton candy. For those spicy people, we have cinnamon and jalapeno. I will let your first tip be free because I know you'll be back for more. I'm counting on it. Well, isn't this nice? There are snacks, music, oh, and this kid selling marijuana vapes. It's just a spring fling. This is normal, right? Hmm, what do I want? Let me think about that for a moment. I have an alcoholic father and a mother who gets stoned. They're such great parents, I definitely want to make the same choices they made. While I'm at it, I might as well take a vape to go, to share with my little sister. She loves cotton candy. It's bad enough I have to deal with this at home. I can't believe you'd be dumb enough to bring this to school and target children who still have a chance to make something out of their lives, instead of wasting on getting high. You want to be known as the kid who dealt drugs in middle school? Give me your jacket. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Give me your jacket before I make a big scene. You made a good choice, Billy. If I see you selling your vapes again, I'm turning you in. Be a better person. Hey, I found this jacket. I don't know who it belongs to, but it's kind of heavy and it has some weird stuff inside of it. You might want to check it out. As you can see, my life is not great. The sad thing is, my story happens to many kids. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, one in eight kids are living with at least one parent who struggles with substance use. That's 8.7 million kids who have to struggle to break the cycle of their parents' choices. I've made a choice not to follow my parents' footsteps. 
One day, I'll be able to confidently say, my life is great.